mai marcha sar winjamana ulaiqua shuta marita What's up everyone? This is Super Super Marcel and welcome to 2017! Woo! Yeah! Here we go, we're ready um, to do some uh, of the usual things here and there. So we're gonna go take a look back in 2016 and, uh, and the couple of games that I enjoyed playing, right? So yeah, if you've seen my channel before, you've seen my past top 5 game videos you know where this is going we're gonna see that my personal right five favorite games of 2016 the games that I enjoy playing the games that I enjoy the most right now remember okay as always before I begin this list do remember that this is my own personal opinion right okay so if you find a game that if you either a don't find your game on this list or B, find a game that you disagree with me, right? Type it down calmly, right? Calmly disagree with me and stuff and give me your reasons rather than just going like, This is outrageous! <laughs> oh, send, send, send this big, like, I don't know, 15 sentence hate <laughs> message to me or something. I don't know, just calmly disagree with me, it's just, really? Oh, okay, personally I like this game more than that game, or, oh, I'm surprised you didn't put this game, blah, 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 blah. So anyways, um, without further ado, let's not waste any more time, and let's begin with number five on a list of top five 2016 games. Coming in at number 5 is No Man's Sky, an open world adventure game, or should I put it an open world um, universe game, um, and where you basically travel the entirety, entire universe, and you can discover your own planets, your own creatures, yada 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 yada. This, this game is huge, like massive like you can find planets here and there galaxies and stuff and the way you can just be creative with your own ideas of what to name your animals and stuff hell you might some scientific some biological people that like biology could like look at these animals that they find in the planet and go and and judge by um how they're living and stuff and just make up your own analysis on how they're living on the earth. You could make your own little, like, I don't know, documentary or something based on those animals. I don't know. But it's, it's a pretty cool game. Ish. Um, I'm not gonna lie. When I first saw, when I first was introduced to the trailer, Jack, right, my friend, my good friend Jack introduced this game to me with the trailer and stuff. He showed it to me and we were like, this game is amazing stuff, we can travel the entire universe and yada yada yada. And before the game out, we were so excited about what the game, uh, about playing multiplayer and stuff. And we were excited to, to go adventure on, on with each other to different planets and find stuff together and stuff, like a t good team. However, sadly, the game actually came out. It's not multiplayer. We got lied to, right? And a lot of people, including myself, were a bit angry that we were lied to that there will not be multiplayer. All right, I am really disappointed that I do not get to share this experience with my friends. All right, I would have loved to share the 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 feel of adventure and discovery with good mates and stuff. Right? The more friends you have to to um have, the more friends that you have to have a experience with the better it is right and since we you've removed that experience that 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 sharing experience with friends it's just a little disappointing really i am not so happy and another thing about Nomad Sky although at first 
right? The first hour or something about uh, or two of the game and stuff would be fun and stuff, right? You go around discovering new things, new planets, um, new animals and stuff, and you get to name it, you, yada yada yada, right? But after a while, it does eventually get boring, right? It does get boring because it just feels like you're just basically doing the same thing over and over again. You find a new planet, you have to land, collect the minerals to fix your ship and your suit, blah 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 same thing over and over and over and over again, right? You could like, I don't know, add some things here and there, right? Make, make us d do ev like extra stuff, like unexpected stuff, not the same thing over and over again. I mean, you do yeah, you do find new animals, but the thing is, after like, after like, um, 30, finding 30 different species of animals, creatures in your game, and stuff, you start to notice a pattern, you start to notice some body parts that are contained on them and stuff, so then you just go like, oh, that kind of looks similar to that thing, but just slightly different, that has different legs and stuff, but the head is the same, yada yada yada, same goes for the trees and stuff. Right, I mean, I saw some very cool trees at first, but then I look through someone else's playthrough. They find a planet that looks very similar, right, but slightly different, right? And yeah, it, it, you can see why it's number five and stuff. Most people would not even add this game to a list because they're so disappointed and absolutely hates the game. Personally, I don't hate it that much, right? I don't hate it like, like a lot, like other people say, right? I am, I do. I do dislike the fact that the, the developers lied that there will be multiplayer and stuff, but other than that, yeah, yeah, I, it's just, I'm disappointed, really, that, that's all, that, that's it, really, so, yeah, a little disappointed that, that we got lied to in our face, but otherwise, what, 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 what we got, not bad, not bad, it's fun for the first two hours. Then he gets boring. So yeah, so that's number five on the list. With that, with that, with that done, let's get over to number four. Coming in at number 4 is Doom 4. Uh, this game is it was pretty fun and cool and awesome. It, it, it was nice to see um, the, the, the Doom game, which is one of the first ever uh, first shooter, first person shooter platforms and stuff, um, and be remade into this. There was Doom 3 and stuff, and, but that was a lot more, more creepy and spooky and more more um more like a like a, a horror game well it always was a horror game but like specifically like a survival horror game this one seems more like a classic um pixelated ones where it's just um you done sneezing there <laughs> where it, it, it seems, this one seems more like the, the old pixelated ones where it's just you running around rather than you being afraid of the demons it's the demons uh, should be afraid of you, but they're foolish enough not to be and stuff. And yeah, so Doom, Doom Four. Um, I gotta say, right, like g going back to Jack, right? Jack, which is one of my my good friends, my good mates, right, is an absolute fan of this game. He absolutely loves the fact that Doom Four uh, exists, right? Now. Uh, I I like it too and stuff. Just not as much as Jack, mainly because Jack grew up on uh, on Doom. Uh, I didn't, so yeah, yeah. I can I can see why he's re right. If Jack made this list and is talking about his top five games of 2016, uh, Doom 4 would probably be like number one on the list right now. But but, but yeah, this is my list. So yeah time to talk about what I think. So basically, yeah, Doom is very well done on the on the graphics, right? Story, 
don't need a good story for Doom. I mean, it's Doom. You just go run it around, go to hell, and yada yada yada, kill some demons, right? Tear them apart. It, it's very, it's very fun to just go around, right? You feel invincible, right? You feel like you're stronger than the demons, mainly because if you, if the demons. Um, start getting like it hurt enough, right? You can literally just just go up to them and rip them apart with your your own hands. That that is cool, right? That feeling of just going to the demons and going like, come here and doing like a, a goddamn Mortal Kombat fatality on them. It's just brutal. I love the brutalness. I mean, it's Doom, right? You're going. It's the game specifically about demons in hell, right? Of course, it's going to be gory and brutal. And and I I love it I love I love how uh, brutal it is and stuff and yeah it, they, they they I I really like how they really truly honor um the the old classic Doom games and stuff by making like secret Easter egg levels where you can play the classic Doom and stuff and and yeah Doom Four good game multiplayer I enjoyed the multiplayer I played the multiplayer with Dakota and Nick. And maybe Kyle was there as well, but I specifically do remember Dakota and Nick there. I had a blast with time and stuff. Right? It was probably like the first ever Xbox game where I was actually good at the game, right? I just don't know why, but specifically Doom 4 on the Xbox, I was very well, very good at it. <laughs> any other Doom, any other first person shooter game on the Xbox, I'm not good at, mainly because I'm a PC person. But, anyways, yeah, Doom 4, great game. Right, multiplayer, multiplayer is man, but fun. The the single player is fun, right? Gore, good. Graphics, spot on, right? So with that d done out of the way, let's move on to number three. Coming in at number three is Far Cry Primal. Woo, another Far Cry game into the mixture of the lists of the best games of the year, right? Now, admittedly. Right? The Far Cry Primal isn't as good as the other Far Cry games, mainly because I guess you actually have guns and stuff that might be why they're exciting, but I don't know. But the fact that you actually get to play a game as a caveman is, is awesome, like an actual genuine 10,000 years ago caveman, and, you get to pl and there used to be like a huge variety of prehistoric animals and stuff. Sadly, not all the um, prehistoric animal. I mean, it's it's nice to see uh, the the cool megafaunas such as the woolly rhino, the mammoths, saber tooth tigers, and giant cave bears appear in um, in Far Cry Primal. But I do wish there were more stuff. I mean, it would be cool to see like some of the more unusual mammals that you that look weird and stuff and you don't usually see those often like uh, Macrochenia or let's say like a Megatherium yeah wouldn't that be cool like a giant sloth right but but it, it's fine I, I still like what we got and stuff how you get to uh, pl accurately play Far Cry as a caveman and it, it works it works it works it's good not like, but like I said, it's not as good as the other Far Cry games and stuff, right? But it's still fun and still interesting. It makes it's it's it makes you learn a bit of caveman life and stuff. And games that make you teach about real life things um, is cool and stuff. Games that make you teach, like this game teaches you about some of the megafauna and cave and what cavemen sort of lived like. I don't reckon that. Cave cavemen had that advanced bows to shoot two arrows at once, but I don't know. I'm a, I, I, I'm into like prehistoric animals, not humans, but it's it's still interesting, right? And um, um in terms of the story, the story was fun and stuff. The game, the gameplay mechanics were were, were were nice and simple, right? It's just like another Far Cry game, you get to craft your own stuff. And, Yada yada, just collect the resources from the world instead of using the resources to make drugs. You use the resources to make weapons. I, I, I like I like that, right? Um, 
the the side characters within the story and stuff were, were interesting the villains admittedly the villains were not as cool as let's say like Voss or Pagan Man but still Ool Ool is still pretty cool right Ool's a pretty simple villain like a big massive dude that he just is simply trying to take care of his people just in a wrong way. Izila is a is a meh. It's she's still pretty interesting, but I still prefer Ool over Izila and stuff. And yeah, it, it, it's nice. I like Far Cry Primal and stuff. It it's interesting, right? It's it's um knowledgeable and it's fun, but not as fun as Far, the other Far Cry games, right? It, the, the story is nice and simple, right? I mean, it's caveman times. You can't make it like super complicated like the other Far Cry games, right? It's just a simple tribe fighting against other tribes, right? And this little subplot that the guy you're playing is like <laughs> a beast tamer and stuff. Oh yeah, and that's like another thing. The fact that you can actually go up to animals, like t get to tame your own saber-toothed tiger and get that gets to be a partner is awesome, right? I mean, you think it's cool to have like a little pet companion in uh, Fallout 4? Well, here comes Far Cry Primal and you get a saber-toothed tiger companion. Or even better, you get to ride a mammoth and stuff. And it, yeah, yeah, the game's cool. And with, with that done now the way, let's move on to number two. Coming in at number two is Firewatch, a open world um, game uh, which is about you uh, as a ranger trying to uh, keep watch of it, of the forest or the woods of this park, all right, and to make sure it doesn't burn down. Now, obviously, that's not an actual gameplay mechanic and stuff, right? This game is actually heavily story based than a uh, fun gameplay based right so it's mainly a story game right I mean it, it, there's not a lot to do in terms of to gameplay except just walk around and hike and that's basically what this game is it's just a, a hiking simulator I guess you could say it's very peaceful and stuff it, it kind of makes me want to feel like wanting to go hiking and stuff and it, yeah it's it's very it kind of calms down your mind and stuff and the, the story behind this game is very very fun and stuff now if you know me right y you would probably know that I am very much into uh, story based games that's why I love games like uh, the Telltale games and stuff uh, and Firewatch makes a very well done um, story See, so but behind all the hiking and stuff in this game and stuff, there's also like a big full-on story and stuff behind you, the character, your your the ranger that you're playing, and the girl, right? Uh, there's a there's there's a second girl who's your partner, I guess you could say, um, is, who's in another watchtower and stuff, and she she also watches a, and yeah, there's there's like a, a bunch of random stuff here and there and the, the, the secret lore and story from our uh, other past previous rangers that worked here is very very interesting and stuff and it's very intriguing to figure out what is happening as time goes by and stuff at every every moment of playing the game and stuff or watching or I don't know it depends right and yeah it's just the story gets more and more interesting you're just wanting you're just probably thinking on what's going to happen next in terms of the story wise like who is watching us and yeah the other i'm not going to say any more or else it'll be, it'll be spoilers and stuff but yeah yes yeah, it's, it's very peaceful the graphics well it, it's it's okay i mean they're not the bet world's based graphics and stuff firewatch but still, the, the, the story, and it's not the it's not the graphics or the gameplay that matters in this game. It's the story, and Firewatch makes their story very, very well done and stuff, right? And um, the the gameplay, like I said, simple, just walk around and stuff. And really, there's nothing else to say and stuff. The characters are. Um, very intriguing and in interesting, right? 
Um, the game is very peaceful, right? So if you want to calm down your mind and stuff, and you feel like, and you, and <laughs> you you want to calm down your mind and stuff, um, but yet you don't want to go outside and play a game. Just play this game, and so you don't have to go hiking. There we go. <laughs> Problem solved. Um, and yeah, it's it's very nice. It's a very very good game. And with that out of the way, let's move on to number one, best game of 2016. Coming in at number one is Overwatch. This game was a very incredible experience, right? I got introduced to it by uh, Muzelk himself, right? You can go subscribe to him. He's an uh, excellent and wonderful and great um, Overwatch and Team Fortress 2 player and stuff. And he will hopefully last a long time on YouTube. I, I wish Muzelk luck. But anyways, yeah, Overwatch. Overwatch is this amazing game. It is this very, very, very well done game. I've been excited to play it ever, play it ever since I saw the idea of it. Then I introduced it to Loki. He got in, in, in excited about the game. And then it went further and further and further. And basically this game managed to achieve something very special. It caught the eyes and interest of so many people everywhere on YouTube, well not everywhere, but a lot of the place on the gaming part of YouTube was mainly Overwatch. And the fact that Overwatch itself is actually getting a reward for the best multiplayer game of the year it pretty much explains it all really. Overwatch is very well done. The graphics are pretty good. The characters, each and every one of them is rememberable. So they have such a variety of different characters to play in as and they all have their own each and different ways of playing the game. They, it, It's a very strategic game and team based and it's a game that brings people together sort of but yeah, at the same time breaks them depending on the class you pick but uh, whatever. But over and the and the Overwatch Blizzard ca cares about um, Overwatch and it cares about its community, right? They it know oh, Blizzard knows that people love um, Overwatch and that's why they every now and then they will make a little animated short and stuff and that's awesome. The fact that they make little animated Pixar style videos for this one game is astounding the voice actors are all, all each and every single one of them is talented and very very well done so many characters are likable so many characters are fun depending on how you want to play all right you could play you could go into uh, you could be a humongous tough hit point and shield for the team and stuff like Reinhardt or you could go in blasting in damage with Junkrat or you could be a stealthy um, guy like Reaper or Sombra or you could just help out the team 
by being a healer like Lucio, Mercy, Zenyatta, the list goes on and on and on and on. Alright, this, this game has been very successful this year. I congratulate Blizzard for getting such a, a good, good reward and it deserves a reward for best multiplayer game of the year, right? Because Team uh, Overwatch is, like I said, a brilliant game stuff, right? It, it, it's, it's amazing that this game and, uh, and the, the Blizzard does not ignore the community like I said earlier right they, they make little special events to make the game spiced up a little bit more they add new maps and they, they, they yeah it's just it's very well done and the, the hidden lore and stuff is very well creative and stuff and the art style of the game is beautiful and they, I hope that and I hope for future generations to come that this game will continue growing right and becomes just as big as team fortress right not more no not more famous just as right i mean team fortress at the moment is meeting it's sadly meaning it's dark side but hopefully the games could be equal right team fortress is just as much just as liked as much as overwatch right i do recommend to play team fortress 2 though right but at the same time i also recommend to play overwatch right both games are great right if you were to ask me which one i which one's better though that would be a tough one right because i like both of them so i, I can't say which one i like so that's all i have for today i i hope 2017 for good luck i have a good feeling that 2017 is going to be a good year i have a good good feeling right i have a gut feeling that this will be a great year all right and 20 and uh i hope that 2017 has many games to offer there is one game in particular that i can't wait to f play right and i hope that game's good i forgot what the game was called but it's basically like open world dinosaur robots and yeah so I am Super Super Mario. If you liked this video, click the like button. If you want to see more, click that subscribe button. And I am Super Super Mario. Make sure you have a super super time. Bye bye.